Welcome back here to Bikes with Ben. Today, we got a broken brake clamp here on my front brake. I fell off of the log in this video here. And with that came, no injury to me, but a fully sheared clamp piece there. I thought it was just the pin that was sheared off here, but it is the full actual piece if i was able to get this just this piece i'd probably go to pop this pin out and uh, replace that you know it's just the other side of the clamp but i don't think we're going to find that at least not quickly I'll try to find somebody's uh takeoffs for these texture brakes to see if we can get that for now we're gonna head down to the bike store and uh see what they got me we'll get a whole front brake set or a whole brake set all right just got back from the bike store no real luck i was hoping they'd have like a takeoff Something I could just buy cheap and pull this off of. Um, all I have is full brake kits, and I'm not really wanting to spend 100 bucks on a front brake just yet. So, next goal is going to be try to make this piece. So, we're going to get this bike over to the bench, try to pop this pin out of here, and then we will 3D print one of these. 3D printing is probably not going to be strong enough, but we can hopefully either cast or machine uh, once we prove that it's the right fit. Uh, and we'll see what we can do without buying a part. I looked this whole kit up too, and it's another 90 or 80 bucks, 80 or 90 bucks for the full brake. I can't find just this anywhere. I can't even find scrap pieces of this really. So we're gonna try to avoid buying something and uh, make it ourselves. We'll see what happens. All right, let's get the bike over to the bench. All right, let's get this right here. Cool. All right, we're going to see if we can't hammer this pin out here. It looks like it's been tapped in this way. Uh, so we're going to hit it from this side. I'm going to pop that little piece off. This, this piece here is captured still. It's a little past halfway, so it's stuck to that. I would like to keep this as whole as possible so that I can use it to draw up the piece I'm trying to draw. You know, the mock-up of this. There we go. So this here goes, oh, might be the other way, yeah, just like that. So we can super glue that back together or just leave it like that so we can draw this piece up. Back to getting this pin off, maybe something in here. I don't even remember buying these. Where are they all from? Oh, was that the right size? That's beautiful. Hey, oh look, it went right through the wood. That's a <laughs> nice little hole right there, perfect. All right, so that pin came right out. So we will either hammer that, I bet we can just hammer that right back in when we want to fix this up. So let's uh, take this here and we'll get to uh, designing it on the computer and then we can Start the print up. Shouldn't take very long to print it, and maybe fix it. I don't. I have no clue how strong this will be on a print. Probably not strong enough. We'll find out. All right. 3D printed part. Actual part. Oh, flip it around. Let's see how close that was. That's not too bad. for a first draft. So now, one issue I had was I printed this uh, without support, so it's kind of rough here. We're printing it again with a full infill, so it's a solid block. And let's see if it fits, though. Oh, that is sweet. All right, how's the centering hole for this pin? Where did I put that pin? What did I do with it? Oh, it's in my pocket. How about that? Okay. This was in this way, I think. Hole's a little small, so we will have to uh, drill that out, but that's not too big a deal. This might work. I don't know how strong this needs to be, but, um, I mean, cast aluminum can't be the strongest thing in the world. All it has to do is hold that clamping force obviously um, the fact that we're 3d printing this with the lines going this way means that it's not going to want to break along that you know if we printed it 
basically so the lines went this way we want to shear that right off no problem now it's still going to have to be a little bit strong but it's definitely stronger because we've printed it this way and we're going to print this as a solid piece and uh hopefully it works we'll find out if this doesn't work as a long-term solution we're going to try to cast this piece here uh, with aluminum so we'll use this as a mold uh, melt it out of some sand and then pour in some aluminum and hope that we can cast ourselves that's a little more advanced and uh, not very practical for the average uh, bike fixer upper but we'll see what happens uh, we'll be back with the more solid piece when we try to actually install this so we got another half hour for it to print and then we'll throw it on all right we uh, printed the new one here it looks not as good because of I don't know the way the infill is working there for some reason or the way the support is working there but it's 100% infill so it should be pretty strong um, I'm not sure if it's as strong as uh, as this metal piece here but we will see so will it fit in here number one look at that that is perfect Um, now, we need to get the hinge pin in there, so I think we need to drill this out a little bit, let's see. Yeah, let's get some drill bits. Alright, what do we got here? That might be good. You're looking see if this will mount properly so if we do that by golly that might just work okay so let's get this pin back in here okay, in there let's get um in there okay where did I put that bolt okay there is a bottom piece here on the clamp that runs in there that goes there by golly I think we have something snapped. What was that noise? Yeah, not important. Oh, there we go. Tighten. I mean, that's... I think that works. Crank it out a little bit. I don't know. Let's test them out. might work. I might not need a metal piece. I think they work. That's uh, impressive. So the bar is also cranked. Cockeyed when I wreck, so I'll straighten those up. But I think our little 3D printed part is working. I might print this in um, Pet G. PETG instead of PLA because if this gets hot it's going to melt luckily we're in the fall now but that might just be okay we'll keep riding on it and uh, keep you updated if I break it but for now I'm happy enough that we can ride tomorrow so yeah do not think that's gonna work thanks for watching stay tuned next week I don't know what we'll be doing maybe uh, casting a brake clamp in case this thing breaks